Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rocket League with me, Brainboy20, where we last left off. We were discussing the ending of the series, and we are going to continue discussing the ending of the series, and I'm going to continue on in standard matches. And when the music's no longer blaring, the admittedly awesome music, I'll have a small thing to discuss. Hopefully I can breach the pro level of this before the end of the series. Because I'm planning on speaking a little bit about what I intend to do with the Rocket League series, because I feel as if I've gained enough knowledge on the game to do something else. <sighs> Are we done yet? Okay, thank you. Alright, so what I was intending to do was start doing some form of, uh, not streaming, but, uh, what's the term for it? Casting, yes. Video game casting. And our team is Megan Indian and Stupid. And Megan Indian. Her Mega Indian gets an immediate score. Congratulations. This gives me more time to talk because I think our team is good enough where I don't have to do anything. I'm intending on attempting to do game casts of this. But that's very difficult to do because there's no dedicated game casting. I will leave a link to a site that has instructions on how to do this. If anyone decides to send some games towards, uh, sends a replay towards my way, and wishes to try to have me live stream it, <laughs> wishes to have me live stream their game. No, it's more of wishes to have me try to cast their games. Admittedly poorly, but hey, you don't have to pay anyone to do that, and it's almost guaranteed notice. Anyway, link will be in the description. Then I will set up a new series specifically for this, and this should be the very last episode of Rocket League as a result. And I don't know how the heck I got first touch, but I know I'm out of the game for so long because that glorious melee set me flying so high into the air, and Mega Indian and I are the only ones that have scored this far in the game, within the first 30 seconds, no less. I will resume the regular commentary. No reason to do anything fancy yet. Mega Indian and I are being hyper aggressive. But if my angle's a bit better, I might have been able to score immediately there if I was going a little bit higher. And wow, Mega Indian, you're doing an amazing job, mate. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop on the wall enough to be able to get the ball from out of their reach. But that doesn't really matter, because my teammates are doing an amazing job of holding it back. Although I think I'm kind of competing too much with Mega Indian to see who can score. When I really should be working as a team. Um, a little bit more on the replay bit. A little bit more on the replay bit. If I'm going to be doing replays of this stuff, I'm just going to do, like, shh. I still might be choosy if I somehow get too many, but for some reason I kind of doubt that that'll be the case, and good score on them. I somehow doubt me getting a ton of replays is going to be the case, considering the popularity of this series, but if anyone does happen to send me some replays, I'll at least start up a new one. Hopefully that'll go over well. If not, oh well. It'll at least be some good practice for trying to do some casting in the future. And how the heck did I miss... And Mega Indian just denies them their attempted score. And now if we can bounce it off the sidewall. And I blocked it from Mega Indian, which means that we are just competing way too much to see who can score most. <sighs> okay, back to the game at hand. No more of this no more of this casting business. Let us play. Considering the overall popularity of this series, I'm probably not going to restart it. He's, he says this after saying that he would stop this and just go on to the actual game at hand. But considering the actual popularity of this series, I'm not going to restart it for a while. And if I do, it's probably just going to be high-level play. And an amazing save by me, preventing them from scoring and allowing us to maintain our lead. And now I'm just getting bashed around for my save. Come on, it's almost as if you don't want me to play the game the way it's meant to be played. And Mega Indian might get another score again? No, he just centers it. And unfortunately, because I thought my teammate was going to get the ball, that split-second decision prevented me from attempting to score there. Instead, I simply missed because I thought my ally would have gotten it. Mega Indian, you're going in the wrong direction. 
I'm gonna send it high into the air and maybe get a shot off as a result. Finally, my first airborne shot. Or second, I should say. I basically just toss it gently into the air before the enemy team can even defend against it and manage to score as a result, keeping us well into the lead in this game. This is a great warm-up match for me. I'm gonna sit back here and defend. Stupid. Seems like he's gonna be doing a good job trying to get the offense going. And Mega Indian managed to block it. And since my teammates stopped my momentum, I couldn't get the ball away from them for giving them the chance to score on us, which is right now. And since I was able to stop, Stupid manages to block the shot there. And Mega Indian's going to continue pushing forward. Maybe you'll be able to set up a good score for us. Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. And they bounce it off the side wall. And this is the only way I'm going to get it. I'm going to have to deflect it off the side wall and maybe... Ah, oh, that would have been amazing if I could have bounced it away. But I was at an improper angle, so I went too far forward. And they managed to score as a result. So what happened there? Stupid goes around and attempts to defend it. And... That was just a flurry. That was just a melee that no one could have predicted what the outcome would be. So I'm just going to go quickly grab this little boost and just come in behind Mega Indian. Ah. Oh. I was a little bit higher, I might have been able to get a score off of that, but oh well. I don't have any boost now, so I need to wait and get some. And that was probably me stealing, so I'm gonna just... Sorry. I didn't think I sh I think that was me just stealing it. Again, I don't know, that might have not went into the goal. Oh well. That's a good way to try to round off the series and get into the pro. At least the pro level. And Mega Indian gets first touch, and Lemix stops it, just causing the hit to be deflected. I will get it out of the way of our goal. And maybe... Ah, I wasn't high enough to try that. Oh well. Stupid's gonna send the ball away from the opposing team, who's gonna try to deflect it. I'm just gonna keep bouncing into the air, because I quite frankly do not care where the ball ends up, as long as it doesn't end up in their hands. And how did I miss that one? Well, it's gonna be up to them to protect it from, uh, protect it from our goal. I'm just going to let them boost to get ahead of us, because I don't think that they can stop this hit. And they bounce it off the side wall again, which might be a perfect aerial shot, but instead we get right past their defenders. Mega Indian might be able to score, and he does! Getting, putting us firmly in the position where they cannot recover from this, because they had a chance beforehand of at least tying the game. And wow, Peek will snip. Guess they're kind of pissed at their teammate. I don't even know what they- oh because he's doing so low score-wise. And that's the first touch and first hit by me. And it would have been a solid hit, but Mega Indian does an aerial shot, sending it back, and now I'm just pirouetting around. Mega Indian's blocking. Stupid's just been really defending, and it's really the strong defense by Stupid that's been doing so well. And Wolf Fog fails his rebounded shot. Come on, let's make this an epic one. Aww. If I had any speed, I might have tried to score there. And as such, I'm not the MVP. I get the sombrero topper. And I'm behind Mega Indian, but that doesn't matter. We won regardless. And let's continue. What's my skill rating? Like, what level do you have to be to get to silver? 500 plus? Oh well. And I'm still semi-pro, so I guess that's not how that works. I think it's 15 or up that you go to pro level. Not like that really matters, it just means about how many games you've played. Anyway, who's on the up? Who's on ours? Who's on theirs? Come on. Chad Petler and Hala Hala get doll. Why am I going for the rush is beyond me. Azazel does a perfect defense sending it away from me, so I can't try to get control over the ball. And I'm inside their goal. Hopefully, our team can defend it while I try to build up some boost. And no, it's an immediate score by the opposing team. That's just lovely. Azazel went from defender to offender as he manages to score. In spite of our team's best efforts as Hala Hala gets stuck in our own goal, Azazel, Daliliyama, and Ezekiel are on the opposing team. I'm just going to quickly grab a little bit of boost, and maybe coming from the center, my teammate knocks me out of my course and continues to do so for some ungodly reason. So let's see if I can pull this off, and instead simply send it flying into the air because we keep ramming into each other. However, thankfully, the enemy team is just as unorganized. 
And I don't know what I was trying to do there, and I'm stuck in the air as a result of my imbecilic actions, but Chad was able to send the ball away from the defending side. Holla holla, I had a better angle on that. You should have let me get it, but oh well. They can't hear this anyway. Plus, I don't think he can see me. And Chad, you better do a perfect job defending against Azazel's assault. And I will prevent them from getting control over the ball. And Azazel's going to try to score, but he misses. But I miss my opportunity to attempt to get the ball into a position where Hala Hala could score. Chad's going to have to defend once again against Ezekiel, he says, as they miss entirely. And Hala Hala's going to try to hit, but misses and simply sends the ball away. I'm going to bounce it off the side wall, and hopefully Hala Hala can pick that up. Bringing it to their side of the field once again. I'm going to have to set this up because Hala Hala is doing absolutely nothing, but Dalyama manages to get away from me just in time. And now it's up to Chad once again to defend. Thankfully, that is not the case. Hala Hala gets it out of the way. And my shots bounced off of Ezekiel. Meaning it's once again up to Hala Hala and Chad to get the ball away from them. I'm going to continue to try to get my assault going. Even though I just jump over my teammate who manages to get the ball into a perfect position for me to score, I knock him out of the way and manage to score. Alrighty then. Bounces off the sidewall of Hala Hala. He sets it up for a perfect side shot from me. And I hit both Azazel and the ball into the goal, tying up this game. Let's see if we can round it out in the next couple of minutes. First touch, and I get the solid hit, or at least I'm able to deflect it enough for Hala Hala to get the good shot off. Oh, come on! No boost. That's what sucks. You don't have enough boost early on, so you can't close out the game immediately, but I will bounce it off the side wall again. And in the flurry of the melee, I was hoping they'd miss, but because of my low boost, I'm going to have to wait, and hopefully Chad can protect against it, which he does just well. And I keep ramming into my teammates, preventing us from sending the ball away in any appreciable manner. Oh, bounce it away from Azazel, and bounce it over Daliyama, letting Hala have a chance to get control over the ball, but he is not able to since I have almost no boost, which I need to fix immediately. I couldn't go after the ball in any meaningful way. Meaningful, meaningful. It's the word of the day. What is the word of the day, Rain Boy? That word is meaningful. And I missed the shot. And I'm going too fast, so my turning radius is so high that I can't even get control over the ball if I wanted to. I'm just going to quickly grab this boost, go off the side wall. Hopefully, Hala Hala can keep control of the ball, sending it off the side wall. And let's see if I can pull this off once again. Unfortunately, I'm knocked into it by the opposing team, which forces my shot to miss. Hala Hala attempts to bounce it in, and manages to get the and I manage to get the assist, bouncing it off the side wall for Hala Hala to pick that up and score. Nice work, Hala Hala. Yeah. Alrighty then, let's see what happens here. The flare of the melee commences, and I got the solid hit, but I have almost no boost to show for it. Let's go pick that up, I'm going to even attempt to score. I think both my enemy team and I were combating over who can get control over the ball, and ultimately they reign supreme. I'm going to try to pick up a little bit of boost and rush towards our goal. And the deflection by the enemy team allows Hala Hala to pick up the ball and send it back to their side of the field, but it's Azel doing an amazing defense once again causing me to miss, and for Chad to defend properly, because the ball wasn't going fast enough for Chad not to be able to reach it. Chad's already set up and is denying them every attempt to score. Now I'm bounced again towards their side of the field. Hala Hala bounces it off the side wall, but I'm too far to the goal for me to even attempt to score, and I have to rush past to hopefully deny them the shot, but Chad and Hala Hala are on top of that. And unfortunately, I'm going too fast to pick up the ball there. I'm going to hope Hala Hala can pick it up while I go to grab some boost from this side. And it simply comes over to our side of the field, and we are ahead with only one minute remaining. But who knows what else could happen during the one minute time shenanigans. Hala Hala bounces it off the side wall. I don't know what I'm doing. I go right past it. And I fail my bicycle hit to send it that way, but Hala Hala is able to block it, put it to the center of the field, and needs a little bit of boost to get a speed advantage. And maybe bounce the ball towards their goal once again. And it's bounced away from it quickly by both Aza by a combination of Azazel and whoever the other guy is, Denalia. But I managed to blow up Azazel. However, they managed to tie up the score as a result. As I was saying, 
nothing really matters until the last minute of the game, unless we get such a humongous lead that they cannot possibly recover. So let's see what happens here. I'm not going to boost ahead. Chad's got that one running. Although I will bounce it off the side wall again. Hopefully Hala Hala can pick that up. I need to grab some boost in the meantime. And I almost sneak it into their goal. And we will win off of that from a long range shot. Because I don't know what the heck I think it was. Ezekiel? No, it was Daliyama. He was in the exact opposite direction attempting to get to the ball. But I managed to sneak it just barely past him. I mean, they must score in the next 10 seconds or lose the match. I'm just going to sit here and wait. Or maybe, maybe, maybe get another score. Maybe, maybe manage to successfully score by bouncing it off of Azazel's head. Yeah, I managed to knock it directly into Azazel. It bounces over him and gently goes into the goal from there. This is by far the closest match we possibly could have had. But we win it at just the last moment. Now we're just going to have this little grand melee because nothing else matters. They can't possibly score enough for it to matter. I attempt to do something fancy, but just end up flat on my back. I get to be the MVP as this series is over. What a good way to end the series here, folks. And I hope you've all enjoyed watching Let's Play Rocket League. Remember, in the description will be instructions of how to send me some form of a replay file so I can watch these replays and attempt to cast them. And until then, I hope you all enjoyed watching. This has been BrainBoy20, and I am signing off. If you like the videos, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and when we come back, we'll be doing something else. Hope to see you all next time.